All right, boys, welcome back. Um, I just recorded a uh, summons video, which you will see how that went. It went beautifully. You had to see it. It is the greatest luck I totally had um, ever in this game, but I have unlocked Mirio, right? So like and subscribe helps out a ton. I'm not gonna put a meme today. Um, I'll make this a single transition video, so nothing like that. Um, again, we've seen this. We don't really care. It was the leaked thing. Um, so we have a description of his attacks. Power gauge instantly, um, charges and cooldown of W, down smash and E, roundhouse refreshes. During the duration of full restoration, all skills can trigger neutralize. So we have to learn what neutralize is um, and what that does um, to understand the character. Hopefully that describes it. Switch uh, between striker and defender stance. Okay, not bad. Consume five stacks of charge or trigger neutralize to unlock Q, permeate counter. Okay, kick them into the sky and smash them down. Pause. Unlock enhanced W and E skills um, after use. This is permeate underground and attack enemies from below. Pause. Um, unlock enhanced W and E skill after use. Use his uh, power to deal massive damage to the enemies. And then basic unleashes a uh, hurricane of punches into the enemy. So, okay. Super easy to understand. Remember, when uh, Mirio dropped, or when Tamaki dropped, he had like poison or something in his kit, right? Um, and then it was like another thing. There was like, there was not poison. It was something weird with this kit, right? I mean, it took us a little bit to understand what that is. Um, so hopefully this doesn't take us forever to find out. Um, but we do have his kit here, right? To give you the easy breakthrough, uh, breakdown, breakthrough, um, when a charge is, so this is the thing, this is the charge up, and this is the permeate counter, two different things, and these are like his stances, right? This is his passive, uh, but first I'll check um, S, right? So A basically increases attack by 5%, okay? S increases the penetration um, rate by 5%, uh, plus 0% when you level up, but it obviously changes. So SS gains one stack of charge after landing a hit, 40 second cooldown, gains one stack when Q permeate counter lands, and also inflicts 5% plus 0% um, damage increases the damage dealt by Lamillion up to three stacks. Okay, I don't know anything about his character, but SS seems pretty good. Okay, SSS, Togata gains three times crit damage of his penetration rate up to 120% increases damage dealt to enemies with hyper armor plus or by 15%. Damn, SSS is nuts too. All right, moving on. Um, I'll give you the ultimate, and I'll just like give you the skills real quick. Deals um that much damage, okay? Um, deals 255 percent uh, uh plus zero damage again when you level up. It changes. Uses uh, we're using the skill will unlock W permeate uppercut and E permeate combo. Um, deals 400 and this is like the Deku ult kind of. Um, deals 435 percent attack. Um, gains one stack of charge upon using W permeate uppercut. This, I'm gonna make it easy to read this and then understand it, but um, I'm gonna jump into the game just to see how this works and then I'll come back and see if I learned anything. Um, we'll do skill, we'll go to training actually. Training, where's training, training. Um, and let's test them out. Let's see how this goes. They'll, they'll give me the combo um, and I'll learn it. Oh my God, dude, he looks so tall. That's beautiful. It's literally beautiful. It's basic combo, here you go. Again, I, I don't understand how he is a powered character. Oh, that was clean. He goes to the ground and comes back up and just beats him. Look at that. Through the ground and, oh, that's nice. That's nice. So first off, I'll give it to you quick. He looks really AOE from this massive attack right here. Um, hopefully he doesn't get annoying in agency, just continuously like throwing them into the air. But there is that combo, right? Next we have special, and then we hit E, and then E again. Let's deactivate that, but that's what it looks like. So you can't deactivate that. It's kind of like um, Weku's uh, special. So there is that. I'll put unlimited power on real quick. So I'll do it again. One, two, three, four five after that you hit w which you again go back there and then you hit w again all right w w again you can then hit q does a stance now you do e and then you do e again so this is the second attack right not the one that we just went through we just did, uh, did a different one because we changed the stance right oh my god so that's the longest combo i've seen in a while all right uh what the hell so we do w we do w again i'm messing this up 100 q e e got this E again, okay, you hit the special, you will then hit W, you will then hit W again. What am I hitting, what am I hitting? Just punch? No, it was, what was I hitting? Alt? No, what is this? All right, I think I got it, it's W, W again, you'll then hit Q, you'll then hit E, okay, E again. Now I have that, right, so I'm gonna hit special, I'll hit W, W one more time, it's an uppercut now on this, and then you just go Q. Like, that's the sickest combo I've seen in, like, in forever. I'm gonna do that combo one more time. That, that's a sick combo. That genuinely is a sick combo. It's I'm, this is gonna this is why his character is difficult, right? It literally said it, and this is why I was saying it too. This character is set to difficult because for that reason, his combo is big. And just to do that, I'm gonna just spam different buttons here and just see what happens. Um, so we'll do this. 
Beats a combo. We switch stance over here. We can then do this, go into this, right? Then go E and then E again, right? I don't know. Your whole point, right? Your whole point is probably just to make it to this um, and then get that entire thing. To get that animation to like play eyeball crush is what it's called. That's, that's a whole freaking thing. So combo practice, it'll be his super combo, okay? Look at this. You gotta do W, W again, Q, E, E. Okay, there you go, one more time. You'll then hit this, you'll then hit W one more time. You'll then hit W again. You'll then punch. It didn't work this time because I didn't have enough stacks, but you see the point, right? So, and it's really time-based because to get to this, you have to do it right away. Um, so it has that uppercut icon, right? So the icon changes, you'll have an uppercut icon and that's when you can continue it. So, I don't know. Th this is a character. This is like an actual well-done character. I'm, I'm shocked. I'm shocked that devs have done it. I I'm actually shocked. I'll take it. The ultimate talent will just show it to you if you're curious about it. Um, but yeah, he is going to be a little bit of a tough character to, uh, to master. But I see it now. If you, pro I'm, I'm saying it. Mark my words later on. Tell me if I'm wrong about this. But I think that he is a, uh, a PvP character. So I'll do one more round of punches. I'll do whatever. And then I'll finish up this video. So I'll just do this, this. Um, again, if you're wondering what he does, you can switch stances here and there. Oh, I got that right away. Okay, so I have to learn how to play him, actually, and then I'll give you a, uh, a kind of a thing right there. So you can constantly get that back and forth. But if you turn off unlimited power, then maybe not, obviously, right? But, I mean, it was close to it. Go switch to this. You do this. Go through the ground. And then there you go. So, okay, I get how to activate it now. There's that. Again, his entire, like, just, you know, uh, JoJo reference punches right there. Beautiful. This is going to be a good character. Mark my words, boys. I know I've said it before, and everyone stands to that, that I've said it constantly, but this is going to be a good character. Okay, I can see it happening. Oh, I can't wait. I'm going to test him in PvP and see how it goes, um, but then I will test him uh, test the Thoron PvE. So, I'll test him. Yes, I'll test him. But yes, based on what I'm showing you here today, let me know. What do you think? Is he going to be a character you're uh, you're picking up? Again, I still understand. Like, I get it that you wanted to make him a power character, but he really doesn't feel like one. So maybe like if he does the uh, according damage to what a power character does, and he plays like a speed character, that means his DPS is gonna be insane. Like, isn't that the case? So there is that. Like, also imagine this. Imagine you're playing like PvP, yeah? and in the corner you're just doing this. Like you're about to beat them, and you're just doing this. Just you're comboing him like this, and you're getting him stuck in a combo. I want to test that and see how he does. Um, again, it's like it's uh, doing significantly less damage. But just imagine standing there and doing this to the person. Because I don't have a limited power on and I can still switch like this, right? And, I, and I, I'm keeping him down. So imagine you can keep someone down like that. Oh my god, I want to laugh. Um, but that is the uh, that is the first look that I have for you here today. I'm just going to continue to hit a few buttons just to show it to you. Kind of what his kit looks like. I mean, what his basic attacks look like. But overall, his defense break, should I show that? I, didn't, I don't know if I showed that yet. Uh, but it does look like that. It's kind of his elbow just like beating the crap out of his gut like that. It's, it's kind of hurtful. Um, but I don't know. You Give me your opinions right now. He really looks like he got effort put into him so i can't see anything tamaki also had a really fun playstyle. i like i liked it a ton um Nejire was the only playstyle i wasn't like too fond of because it's just like spam ring spam ring again spam rings one more time and sit in the air so i mean if you're up to that it definitely it but this really does look like a combo based character um so if aiza was not your uh, your cup of tea if uh kind of ojiro is not your cup of tea this might not be your cup of tea so you let me know. Thoughts, opinions. I want to know. I will do his ult one more time. And I'm going to go and check out the pages um, and understand like what his jumps are. Um, I didn't check SSS Plus, so I want to kind of check that. Uh, one more time, this is his counterattack. So overall, it's cool. If you're wondering about his defense break, it looks like that. Again, he plays like a speed character, but he ain't a speed character. I, I explained that to me to this day. I don't freaking get it, but that's, that's what they wrote. So moving on. Skill, his SSS Plus is this. All damage increases. Um, all damage uh, dealt by 20% plus the percentage you level them up by. And that's the like the sequence from Eri. So that's pretty cool. Um, when that max HP drops below 80% for the first time, instantly recover to full. After 40 seconds, when your HP is between 50% to 80%, recovers 82.5% plus 0% of max HP, 40 second cooldown. What? What even is this? What even is that? You're reading this, dude. Read it. Read SLS Plus. Wait, I, I, what? When the max HP drops below 80% for the first time, instantly recover to full. Okay. After 40 seconds, when your HP is between 50 to 80%, recovers 82.5% plus 0% of max HP, 40 second cooldown. Apex is going to be a nightmare. 
What? Even SSS isn't that bad. This is uh, it's a pretty whale heavy character. SS is pretty good too. So, <sighs> wow, what a character! But um, that's the uh, first look. That's the skill showcase. What the fudge is his SSS plus, dude? This is not a. This is a joke. Yeah, that's a joke. All right, thank you for watching. Um, I don't know how I feel about his passive or his SSS plus. Uh, but that is the first look. That's what I got for you here today. Hopefully, you were able to go and enjoy that. Um, he really does look like a good character. We'll see how it turns out tomorrow um, after, you know, we, I get to testing and a lot of people get to testing. Um, so, peace out, enjoy. Thank you for watching. Best of luck on your Muriel summons. That SSS Plus is cursed.